Silicon, and today I'll be introducing the Microsoft Surface. Now, Microsoft has announced its very first Windows 8 tablet, which is built and sold by Microsoft. So it's not an Asus, it's not a Samsung, it's a Microsoft hardware product, just like the Xbox itself. So what is the Surface? The Surface is a 10.6 inch um, tablet comes in two flavors. It has an RT version, which is an AR ARM chip version, and an Intel version. Now let's go over the the basic hardware. The RT version of uh, the Microsoft Surface is 9.3 millimeters thick, so it's a very thin device. It weighs about 1.3 pounds, uh, and um, it's made with an NVIDIA ARM chip in there. So I'm not exactly sure what NVIDIA chip is in there, but it has an NVIDIA chip. Uh, also touts a uh, full HD display. It's got uh, with Gorilla Glass 2. It's got the clear type display. Um, it also has uh, twin uh, 2x2 MIMO antennas for Wi Fi. Um, you've got your 10.6 uh, inch display. It's optically bonded, so it's smooth, crystal clear display. Um, now, as for um, connectivity, it, uses, it has two USB 2.0, and um, it comes in. Uh, 32 gigabyte version or a 64 gigabyte version on there um, at the Microsoft announced. Now, uh, the tablet itself comes with a kickstand and it is, uh, it's got a all magnesium uh, vapor uh, case. So it's one of the first tablets to have that technology on there. Now the Intel version, Intel version uh, comes with the new uh, Ivy Bridge processor. It's uh, the um, it's actually the Ivy Bridge i Core five processor, which what they showed on there. So at least you have an i Core i um, i i Core i five processor. I said i Core five. I apologize for that. It's packed with a forty two uh, watt battery in there. Doesn't tell us what the battery life is, but we're expecting probably about seven to ten hours of battery life. USB three point zero instead of USB two point zero on the Intel version, and the the choices of storage are between sixty four to uh, 64 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes. Now it's also 10.6 inches, but a clear type full HD display, just like uh, which just like the RT version. Now this one, of course, uh, is a little thicker. It's 13.5 millimeters and weighs about 1.9 gram grams, so, uh, pounds, almost two pounds in general. Uh, but uh, Microsoft's going to say that this is on par with Ultrabooks in sense. So literally, you've got a, a fairly powerful device overall. Now, what's cool about this, like I said, the Surface has a kickstand. Um, not only kickstand, it also comes with a bunch of accessories. And one of the coolest accessories I've seen is actually the cover. So as you know, most tablets it started with the iPad had the the smart cover. These this has a smart cover that comes with a full keyboard. So as you can see in the pictures, the cover itself has a full keyboard with the touchpad so literally you have your cover and keyboard in the same place which is fantastic and i think a, a solid idea now microsoft has not given us any ideas on pricing but they said pretty much closer to launch means closer to launch of uh, windows 8 we will see pricing for uh the microsoft surface but to ra wrap it up quickly what we have here is microsoft has announced its first uh, hardware on, on the windows line actually first ever if you will and um what well, we have are two versions there's an aim version with an nvidia chip and there's an intel version the intel version carries an Ivy Bridge processor. Now, um, both of them, the devices are 10.6 inches, uh, which are optically bonded, uh, full HD, so you do have um, 1080p uh, displays on the device at 10.6 inches. It, it covered with Gorilla, Gorilla Glass 2. They also have two cameras, a front-facing camera and a rear camera. They haven't given us detailed specs on those yet. Also, uh, the device itself uh, comes with a kickstand. Uh, the RT version has USB 2.0 and the Intel version has USB 3.0. In terms of storage, your storage goes for the RT version 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes, while the Intel version 64 gigabytes and 120 gigabytes. No word on um, uh, micro SD slots or things like that, but um, you do have enough storage there and you do have a USB port. So that is pretty much it. Now, what do you guys think? I think this is a game changer, especially, I, I just specifically love the smart, uh, smart cover keyboard. I think that is fantastic. I think that is a very cool accessory that literally works with the device. And also, again, I think it works well with what Windows 8 will provide. So um, give me your thoughts, your, your, you know, what you guys think about this and what do you think the price will be? I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that price range will probably start around at 300 uh, for the 32 gigabyte version of the RT all the way to about maybe 700 uh, for the 128 gigabyte version. So 
we shall see but I'm th I, Microsoft looks to be uh, looks to price this aggressively and push this out there in the market so we'll see how this all pans out in general but that's pretty much it that is the Microsoft Surface it's a 10.6 inch uh, tablet so think of it this way this has been the evolution of what the um, of you know of, of, of what Windows 7 is to Windows 8 but also the evolution of the netbook um, if you think about it, the netbook, you know, basically was sort of phased away with, um, you know, tablets as well as ultrabooks out. But you can see it's almost come back to that same size of 10 in 0.6 inches again. And I think Microsoft has found something that I think a lot of people will find intriguing as long as they get the price right. So that's pretty much it. That is the Microsoft Surface. Uh, once we get more details and when we get our hands on it, we will let you guys know. But till then, thank you and always enjoy entertainment.